Tonight, a South Dakota leader with an attempt to solve an issue plaguing health services on reservations in Kelloland. Nearly six years ago, the Senate Committee on Indian Affairs released a report saying the Aberdeen or Great Plains region of the Indian Health Service was in a chronic state of crisis. Good evening. There has been a push to give people living on reservations a better quality of health care. South Dakota's at-large U.S. representative says she's making it her duty to improve Indian health services. And as Kelly Lance Kayla Kelly shows you in tonight's top story, she's one step closer to achieving that goal. Babies being born on the floor. Some of the surgical instruments were being washed by hands. Indian health care has long been a problem on Native American reservations in South Dakota. And Representative Christy Nome says it's been happening long before she's been in office. And there hasn't been uh, real fixes or somebody who's really tackled the problem legislatively to make the kind of change happen that we need. Now she's taking on the challenge to further push IHS officials to improve health care. In the next few weeks, she'll be introducing her Indian health care package on the House floor, a series of bills that plan to do just that. And it's got several different elements, and it's meant to change the way that health care is delivered currently today, but also some of the formulas for how reimbursement works. That includes better managing funds, getting more local providers to work in the hospitals, and requiring them to have longer contracts. So it's comprehensive legislation, but it's also going to entail um, mandatory drug testing randomly. Um, also, wait times will be assessed and evaluated. So there's some accountability for the kind of care that's being delivered. Noam says it's a possibility that there may be pushback on the bills, but she refuses to let the problem carry on any longer. We're in an emergency crisis situation right now, and with those hospitals suffering shutdowns and doors closed and people having to be shipped out to other hospitals, it's just a situation where we have to act. In Huron, Kayla Kelly, Kelly Land News.